So welcome to your colorful flip classroom. We have here a nice looking app that uh, has a weird little hamburger icon up here for no good reason. It's got a little swap icon up here. We're gonna look at that later. And it's got a list of colors and the colors have a name and then they have this two digit value that's actually the luminance which is kind of a measure of how bright the color is. And um, when the luminance is above 0.3, you'll see that the color name is in black. And when it's below 0.3, you'll see that the color name is in green. So that's one of the things you have to do. This color list is very, very long. And they're each in this uh, kind of nice little bubble layout, which is done in this color card uh, XML file. There's a, a thing in there. You can look at how I did that. So uh, what are the dynamics of this list? So Zoom Thor is on top. It's a nice name. And we're going to come down here to Light Apricot. And we're going to click Light Apricot. And it's as if we removed it from the list and then reinserted it at position zero above Zoom Thor and everything else moved down. So California goes to the top. Eden goes to the top, Acadia goes to the top. You see what's going on. So uh, everything sort of moves down. Now, if we uh, scroll the list, Razzle Dazzle Rose, um, everything moves down, but we don't see where Bombay has gone. Where has Bombay gone? Well, it's gone to the top. You just have to scroll up there to find it. So that's pretty much all there is to this linear uh, recycler layout dynamics. Uh, and then you hit uh, the swap and whoa, uh, now we're in a, a different sort of view. And in this view, we have a, a staggered grid, uh, three across uh, all the um, color names. And uh, here, what I'm gonna demo is not the exact specification of the flip classroom. But I suggest doing it this way first uh, because it's slightly simpler and it's easier to test. So just wanna emphasize, this is not uh, the version you should hand in. Okay, but what I wanna show you here is, take a look at, this is uh, um, number zero. It's currently, currently called Flesh. And I'll, I'll go down to here to Niagara. And when I click on Niagara, I'll look at swaps with the flesh. So the specification says swap with a randomly chosen color that is not the same as the color you're clicking on. But here I'm just swapping with zero and I'm just doing this because uh, it allows you to visually debug what's going on more easily. And you notice that if you do swap with um, a color that has a different number of rows, then the layout kind of changes in a a way that I think is, is kind of neat. So it's sort of fun to play around with that. You can do a lot of your testing this way. Of course, if again, if you uh, scroll so that zero is not visible, the color you click on is basically going to sort of uh, dis disappear. Uh, well, sorry, it's not gonna disappear. It's gonna be replaced by whatever uh, is, is in location zero. Um, and then again, uh, I'm not gonna demo it uh, in this video, but for your final version, you want to swap with a randomly chosen color that is not the color that you are clicking on. Okay, but enjoy all these colors and all these color names uh, and have a good flip classroom. See you on the other side.